We have another success story interview, and today I'm talking to John. Now, the interesting thing with John is he's making about $400 a month right now, but his site's four years old. Now, the thing is, he only made like a really small amount for the majority of the time that the site's been around. It's only been in the last several months that he started making money. Why is that? We could thank the keyword golden ratio and you can hear it straight from John himself. Now, by the way, if you wanna get an update from John sometime in the future, be sure to leave a comment to let us know and hopefully I can convince John to come back on to let us know how he's doing. Now, in this interview, we'll hear about this four-year-old site making $400 a month. John is going to sort of explain how he implemented the keyword golden ratio. He'll also talk about the power of having a mastermind group and like a support system, someone to talk to. He'll give us some tips on persevering and sticking to a project. Obviously, if you worked on a site for four years and kept with it, that's amazing, right? That's quite a lot of patience that John demonstrated. And you know what? Let's just hear it straight from John. Let's get to the interview. Hey, everybody. I'm sitting with John. John, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, thanks for joining us. And in a lot of these videos, I'm just trying to get you know right to your results immediately. So we'll back into the details. But can you tell us about like the you know revenue of your site currently and then the traffic that, that you have right now as well? My revenue is around 400, give or take, but it's it's about 400, 415. It's grown over about, we'll say six months. And actually I noticed the growth when I applied the KGR method. And before I've been doing this for quite a while okay. and I've used different methods, didn't have any real results. And after I started applying and writing articles using the, the method, it just started to get, get better. And I know over the next uh, year or this, this next uh, six months, I know I'll I'll do even better than I'm doing now. Okay. How old is the site? Actually, it's four years. I went back in November 2014 when I first initiated it, but um, for a variety of factors in my life, personal life, I've been continuing. I, I'm relentless. I just don't give up. <laughs> even though there were times where I just like, I just can't, I just couldn't see myself doing this. And it was sort of depressing because sure. I try to apply certain, you know, other uh, methods and from other uh, people in in the mm -hmm. area of you know of website development and it just wasn't working. What kept me going actually is that I did find someone. I, I you mentioned mastermind groups in the past. Um, in one of the chats, like you do live uh, chats mm -hmm. uh, podcasts, and so during one of those one podcast, not, not in particular yours, but there was one that I actually just put out there. Hey, is there anybody out there that's interested? And sure enough, I got a few uh, interested people, and then I actually stuck with one who's in Canada, and so because of him, I, he just has given me the the confidence to continue and just been there to, to be honest with you, if it wasn't probably for that, because I'm really doing it alone, you can't do it alone. You have to have someone you can talk to. Okay. And he just gave me, motivated me. Awesome. So quick summary, your site's about four years old. It's just been in the last, say, six months or so, you applied the keyword golden ratio or KGR, and then you started to earn. In fact, you've hit about $400. Cool. So that's Correct. okay. Now let's back up. And John, who are you? <laughs> Tell us a little oh. bit about your background and stuff, because we do want to know about you. Well, I'm a stay-at-home dad. I've been raising my boys. I'm a teacher by profession. I originally from Chicago. I've been jumping around. I'm here currently in San Antonio, Texas, and I'm raising my children. My wife is in the medical field, so luckily we're making enough to make ends meet, and I'm hoping that I can take care of my family and also make an income. And I'm homeschooling. Currently, I'm homeschooling my children, gotcha. and um, that's where I'm at right now. Awesome. That sounds uh, like a, a full plate. That sounds like you're very busy. <laughs> and along the way, the past four years, like I said, there's been issues of some mostly medically related issues in my family. So uh, because of that, I've, I've never given up on developing the website because I know this is the future for, for us. Mm -hmm. And then along the way, like I said, the last six months, before that, I only had so many articles I was able to publish. And then after listening to you and also getting on board writers, I started to actually start to publish uh, more frequently and in, in more quantities. Got it. Okay, cool. So you have been dabbling for you know, about four years or so. Can you tell me a couple things that you tried where you thought it was going to work and then it just didn't work <laughs> out? Because I think, you know, it's so relatable. I mean, I remember when I got started, I was trying every little thing and, you know, I would hear someone, it was a sure proof, 100% guarantee, like, X, Y, or Z was going to work, and it never did. 
So can you tell us about some of yours? I'm sure you got a couple. Well, I was following the Spencer Hawes strategies and I came up to where I was applying the, using his um, tool and -hmm. also applying the DAPA, yeah, DAPA and following those uh, metrics. I was doing it in his, using his method, but then there was a flaw in his overall plan. And that was because he relied on, he relied on, it was the backlinking. It was the, um, Oh, the private blog networks. Exactly. And when his started to deteriorate, and I think parents as well, because he had his uh, a colleague later on. I just I got up to that point, and I was ready to include it, and then I stopped. I said, no, I can't do that. So it's a flaw. It was a flawed system. Yeah, <clears throat> and I was going to say I got caught up in it too. Please, please continue that. I still attempted to follow other his strategies, and something just clicked when I heard about. The Clear Smith, uh, Clear Smith method. She was someone that that they interviewed, and then I said it, I, something in my mind just like clicked. I said, "There's something there." And then, of course, two years later, I find your method, and it just like, wow. I mean, this was it. And my colleague, who I've I've spoken about, that lives in Canada, it was so long from uh, trying to convince him that think Clear Smith had something. And then when I mm-hmm. introduced you to him, it took uh, almost a year for him to finally realize. You know what? You're right. Let's try it at least. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Because for all that time, I said, Clear Smith, Clear Smith. And when I found you, then he he had the proof to say this should work. And so I followed him. He had been in uh, developing websites for a longer time than I have. I followed his lead, but he couldn't believe that this would work until I actually told him it's going to work. And sure enough, it did. Right. Or it has so far. It has. Cool. Well, and I, I was going to say, I know I've been talking about the keyword golden ratio for a while. And, you know, I pulled it together from many different sources. Claire Smith, I listened to that same podcast on niche pursuits. And I was like, oh, that's really interesting. I don't really understand. It sounds really tedious. And then I was in a mastermind group with several smart people. They had little pieces that sounded, you know, similar, but a little bit different. And I pulled it together, put the data behind it, and then applied the formula. So, I mean, I didn't, I I made up the term keyword golden ratio, but it was like curating these good ideas and putting them together so that it's, you know, something you could follow where there's data behind it. So for me, I think, um, you know, I was just lucky to be around and, and listen over time to, to pull it together. Now, it sounded like it, you know, it took you a while to actually get started with the keyword golden ratio. So can you tell us how you started to like test it and apply it in the very beginning? Because some people are scared, right? They think it's not going to work. So how did you approach it to test it at first? Decided that I was going to, because I wasn't certain if there was a certain amount of articles I had to write per month. So I just came up with just, you know, I said, I'm going to try it with 10. I wrote the articles and I published them. And then I started to look back because you would say that there were times where once you published within within the same day, you could start being, uh, you could start be uh, ranking. So I started to notice that some of my articles were ranking. Within a week, I mean, I was ranking them on the first page. Should I say I was ranking in the all in title. And then I noticed that my other articles, the 10, I would say a good 80% of those were already ranking first, second page. That just gave me the incentive and the and the boost that I needed to say, hey, this could work. So after the we'll say after the first ten articles, then I started to publish twenty five at a time. Okay. Before I applied the KGR articles, I had a, like around we'll say about seventy nine articles before okay. that using an old method. And then once I started to use your method, I would say within a month or two months, I started to notice. I noticed mostly the the increase in in sales through, sure. through Amazon. <laughs> so. And I think I've, I've shown you that I was with about, I'll say, three years of work. Right. I only had like, I have only had reached like $20. Yep. And then after a couple of months using your method, I went up to like $120. And I said, wow, well, what a difference. So it just gave me that courage to continue. And I just said, this this could work. And I have to say, over the past six months, there were a couple of months I didn't write anything. But that was, I mentioned to you, there were some health issues that were going on in the family. Mm -hmm. So I I walked away for a couple of months. But even walking away for a couple of months, I got up to currently 
like I said, for 400 bucks. Yeah. And it's, so. you know, a lot of times the rankings will improve even more, more long tails will come in and just Google likes your site more. So, okay, that's really cool. So you, you had your site for about four years. You started adding more and more content. You said you had about 80, <clears throat> 79 articles leading up to that point. So how many KGR articles have you posted so far? Arc? I think I have about a hundred and about 150, 154. Total yeah, I think or to, to, the KGR? To, 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 KGR. Okay. Up to today. Awesome. Uh, so, so you know, give or take six months, you what that would be, uh, yeah. 20, 20 or no, 20 articles. Like I said, I missed two months where I didn't write anything. Sure. I don't know how that might've hurt me overall for, you know, growing, but I'm doing fine. Yeah. And, and I think you'll continue to move up as more of those rank. So, I mean, that's a lot of content. So how much did you write your, on your own? And do you, do you have any writers? Do you have any tips on hiring writers if you do? Well, I have to say that I'm a novice when it comes to website development. But when it comes to writing, I actually write better than I speak. <laughs> I'm very good at writing. With me, I was doing a lot of research. I was actually doing research. I was doing uh, my own lists. I was creating my own lists. And so I was applying the college approach to writing mm -hmm. with like research writing. Sure. So I wrote the first 80 articles, 79 articles on my own. Then the next 10, I wrote on by myself. After that, after listening to some of your strategies mm -hmm. and what we should be looking for in, in writing and actually guiding them. So I'm a teacher, so I know how to guide writers or because of, they're like students. Mm -hmm. So I gave them a recipe and I have a lot of SOPs now. It's working with my colleague. We were we created so many SOPs. I work with the, the writers and I help them, guide them, give them, uh, give them one article at a time, gave them some feedback, basically would do uh, videos and also uh, audio critiques on their writing. And so from there, with the SOPs, with my directives, they were able to, they've been able to write articles. So I, I have two writers, I Upwork, they're um, English speaking, and so far so good. I give them a lot of feedback and I've given them all the, what they need to put into the articles. All right, so you have two that you're working with on an ongoing basis. Did Correct. you have to hire more than two or you found two the good ones right away? I probably have gone through five. Okay. Five writers, but the other ones were because they had life ex situations going on with them, so I had to let them go, or should I say, they they had to drop off. And right. I found these two that just have been very consistent, very good. But but I think a lot of it has to do with, with directions, giving them direction, and not letting them just write and just think that they're just out there and le yeah. in left field, just doing it on their own. So they have some direction. So yeah. I think that has molded them, molded them. And they also, like I said, they they know I'm there to listen to them if they have an issue. Yeah. I'm flexible. I try not to be because I know they have life situations going on as well. So I try to be f flexible with deadlines. Mm -hmm. You know, f give or take a few days here and there. I'm not that. Uh, strict on, on deadlines. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Good to know. And I think, you know, that is a challenging thing to work with writers. And then you had the advantage of knowing how to, you know, supply people with the right uh, information up front, the directions and then feedback. So good job there. Now, I know a lot of people are probably in a similar situation as you where they've worked on a site for a while. They see so many other people making it work. Like, do you have advice for them to like keep pushing to keep going? If you can find someone who can be supportive spiritually, emotionally, I think that's that's a big way to continue. I've been fortunate to have a very supportive uh, wife. She's told me to continue going on. Having my colleague, uh, we developed, I guess you can call it a mastermind group, even though it was only two of us. Yeah. But with his ideas, throwing back and forth, you know, just talking about uh, how, what we're doing right and wrong, and also being personable with each other, I think has helped me to just keep on the, you know, keep the goal in, in, in mind, just keep on moving forward. I think finding someone that you might be able to talk to, I think that helps a lot to keep you going forward. Right. And I know, you know, that that is key because I know in my personal life, when I was first getting started, particularly, I didn't have a network <laughs> of other marketers who knew what I was talking about. So it's really tough because no one knows what you're doing. Like in your personal life, John, do you have like any other marketers or people that know? Like, yeah, you really can't have a Not conversation with them. And then I'm being so such a novice. I mean, when it comes to writing, I, I know what I'm doing, but everything else has been just by I have found people to do the things that I can't do, which I think that's just, that's something someone should keep in mind. Don't be afraid if you don't know how to do something, go find someone to do it. And it won't it doesn't necessarily have to cost you a lot of money. You know, you just got to go out there and, and find someone. Someone will help. There are people out there. There are resources. Right. And uh, take the chance to put out there if you're looking for someone like 
like I said, on a podcast, I just put out the, Hey, you know, is anybody out there interested? We, and we met up and, you know, um, I had originally started with three others as a mastermind group, but you know, you find the personalities don't always work very well. And so I boodle it down to just another person. And so far we've worked really well and, um, it keeps us motivated, you know, just to throw off ideas to each other. And I think that's been helpful, very helpful, extremely helpful. Cool. How often do you guys talk? <clears throat> At least three times a week. Okay, um, that's a lot. Is it, uh, yeah, is it uh, formalized in any way or you just chat? Well, for example, like, uh, you know, I listened to your podcast yesterday. So all of a sudden in the morning, uh, he'll he'll say something. Uh, he'll send me a, a, a Skype message and then I'll Skype him back with a message. So we had something to talk about last night about what happened with your podcast yesterday. I throw out ideas because sometimes he can't always watch your videos. So I'll tell him what I've heard and then we'll go from there and we'll usually have a time where we'll just talk by Skype via not just message each other. Got it. Got it. I think um, you've done an excellent job and I have to commend you for, you know, your, I'll call it stubbornness, but in a positive way. I mean, I'm, I'm stubborn too. You're very, uh, you're diligent and it's amazing that you like stuck with it long enough to like make it come through on the other side. I think that's a lot of, that's where people miss out, right? Like they don't stick with it long enough. And most of the time, if you, if you're willing to adjust, if you're willing to like test new ideas, you'll figure out how to make it work for you. So good job, John. Thank you. I appreciate that. I want to thank John a lot for joining us today. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you want to get an update sometime in the future. Hopefully I can convince John to come back on and join us. Now, if you like this interview, be sure to check out a few of the others in a playlist, right? There's several keyword golden ratio success stories out there and they're all very recent, which is awesome because it proves the model, it proves that it works as long as you're willing to implement the keyword golden ratio. All right, thanks, and we'll see you around the channel.